New developments in an officer involved shooting. Tonight we spoke with a man who witnessed part of the situation in Crawfordsville. It happened around 6:30 last night on US 231 near North Montgomery High School. Wish TV's Jenny Dreisler spoke to the man who lives right across the street from where it all happened. Jenny. Well, Julian, Kenneth Steen captured a lot of the situation on his cell phone, and Steen told me he didn't see the actual shooting, so he doesn't know what led up to it. But he says he is worried about how long 56-year-old Glenn Wrightsell was on the ground after he was shot. I thought somebody was just knocking on the door. It didn't really sound like gunshots um, to me. But they were, and this is what it looked like when Kenneth Steen walked out his front door after he heard those shots Friday night. Steen captured the video on his phone, showing Indiana State Police surround Glenn Wrightsell while he's on his knees. Stepped outside, and then I could see the guy on the ground in between uh, the black SUV and the white uh, Dodge. And he was laying on his stomach with his hands in the air. Um, it wasn't saying anything, wasn't doing anything. Indiana State Police say the events that led up to the fatal shooting started earlier on Friday. ISP says a trooper tagged a black Tahoe sitting on the side of the road. That same trooper was driving around 6:30 and noticed another car had pulled up in front of the Tahoe and had the hood open. ISP says the trooper reportedly gave commands to Wright Cell as he walked up, and that's when Wright Cell allegedly grabbed his gun. The trooper shot Wright Cell at least once. My big concern was I I'm not making a judgment on whether it was justifiable shooting. I didn't see that part. I'm concerned about uh, how long it took for the officers to uh, secure the scene. And then the fact that they were allowing traffic to continue to go in both northbound and southbound lanes completely uninhibited the entire time. Right cell later died at the hospital. Just laid there and bled out and died. I do feel extremely bad for the family because I think uh, regardless of like I said what how the incident went down, the guy was savable. Wrightsell's family says he was working on his daughter's car that had broken down earlier in the day. Friends of Wrightsell's are having a candlelit vigil for him tomorrow night at 5 at the Montgomery County Courthouse in Crawfordsville. The case is still under investigation. Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.